Louisiana Beer Review Special Edition Samuel Adams Seasonal Holiday White Ale Revisited. I've had this a number of times. Um, first time I reviewed it seemed like it was 10 years ago. It may have been, but probably not that long ago. Ale brewed with spices. It's certified kosher. And this is 5.8% alcohol, 8 international bitterness units, got a silver label. This year, they're, for 2021, they're making them look like a, like a foil gift wrap thing. Uh, there is a born on date, guys, but it's so garbled you can't read it. It's just like little dots put together, but they're too dotty. <laughs> um, but there is a Best Buy date that you can make out, and that's May of 2022. All right. It's sort of a blue moon, who garden type thing. If you don't like beers with a lot of wheat in them, I don't really like beers with wheat, but that's what it is, a wit beer for the holidays. Nice smoke coming out the top. Now I bought this in the variety pack. Less than $17, less than $17 at Walmart. Get 12 bottles and you get two flavors I'm sorry two bottles for each of the six flavors it's gonna have a lot of foamy head these wheat beers do that and I agitated it to loosen up the gunk all right well like blue moon you can see is hazy not too hazy not too hazy thick white head Um, this gets pretty good ratings. Uh, not extraordinarily great. And there's a lot of video reviews for it, you'll notice. It smells like very faintly spiced white bread. It's holiday bread, but... The main aroma is white wheat bread. There's a brand of bread called white wheat bread. One time somebody was making fun of me like, what kind of name is that? Or something like, I didn't know what I was talking about. I said, well, it's a brand. You can see it on the store shelves, white wheat bread. All right, let's go with the taste. Yeah. Similar to the Who Gotten type thing. Not as much bubble gum. But you get that bubble gum flavor, the coriander, the other spices, uh, the wheat. Yeah, bitterness units is eight. So on, you know, it's the yeah, orange peel. You know, very blue moonish. If you did a blind taste test between this and blue moon, I guess you could tell them apart. This is a little higher ABV, but not extraordinarily so. I think the Blue Moon IBUs are about the same. The price for the two beers is about the same. Blue Moon's year-round, as we know. This is um, seasonal for fall and winter. Late fall, early winter. Not much. Yeah, and then just like with Blue Moon, you do a, a swish and pour. There's really not much sediment. There's some. You might see a little bit of gunk going down the same thing with that one so there's much more similarities between the two than differences in my opinion and I think that's just well look at the specs they're very similar sweetness scale it's moderately sweet two and a half out of five sugar cubes zero out of five zero out of five hop cones or at the most half a hop cone out of five but out that it's that high get that fluffy mouth feel it medium body high medium body really mostly dry finish it's easy going <clears throat> I know people shouldn't be using a blue moon glass but I don't have a Samuel Adams um, you could fool people and give them this and say here's your blue moon they believe it um, I know a lot of people, they love wheat beers. They just, that's their favorite thing. 
and that's fine it's a personal preference issue it's not a quality control issue or anything like that so <laughs> if you like wheat beers wit beers white beers this should be one for you out I, I mean it's very well made it's no there's no downside to it um, whether I like a beer or not as far as the style it doesn't matter you know it's like well I like this type of meat you like that type of meat you like this type of vegetable I like that type of vegetable and so forth that's really not what the beer reviews are about so much it's about looking at a product see if it's worthwhile if it's excellent good average poor or undrinkable this is in the excellent range not high up in the range but like with most Samuel Adams beers it's hovering around 93 I'll be generous and I don't think I'm really being generous I'm just grading it accurately 9.3 out of 10 93 a most excellent product and um, yeah uh, if I never drank it again I'd be satisfied because I don't like I say I don't care for this type of beer but it but I know so many people that would just love it so Les Ailes Bon Ton Relais most excellent product glad I bought it um, got to try it again I might do a dual review with my friend David see what he thinks I think he'll have a similar opinion and I'm gonna because he's not too much for wheat beers either even less open to them and I'm again I'm going to end this revisit review by saying y'all go to one of the Boston Beer Company breweries and take a tour let's see real fast what breweries they're showing same ones Boston Massachusetts Cincinnati Ohio and Breen Breenigsville, Pennsylvania. Yep. Thank you.